Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Power Toys for Windows 10 is an app I feature quite regularly on this channel, and I have posted quite a few videos regarding Power Toys previously. Now, in case you don't know, Power Toys is an app you can go download over at GitHub, and it's maintained and developed by Microsoft. And what it does is it just gives you a couple of extra tools and utilities that don't come standard in the Windows 10 operating system that just help you to increase the functionality of the operating system. Now with the official announcement of Windows 11 and now obviously Windows 11 being made available as a preview build over in the Windows Insider channel currently in the Dev channel, many of us know about the new feature, the Snap Layouts. Uh, this is a new feature in Windows 11 and what it does is it basically um, just lets you make it easier to quickly uh, organize open windows into various grids and arrangements and you know avoids the need to basically manually resize each window one by one. Now this is a new feature in Windows 11 but this a similar feature has been available in uh, Power Toys for Windows 10 for quite some time now and if we just pop back over to Power Toys for Windows 10 this feature is actually called Fancy Zones and is very similar to the snap layouts you can now find in Windows 11. If we, if we just click on About Fancy Zones, this takes us to the support website, Fancy Zones Utility. And I'm just going to read you quickly. Fancy Zones is a window manager utility for arranging and snapping windows into efficient layouts to improve the speed of your workflow and restore layouts quickly. Fancy Zones allows the user to define a set of window locations for a desktop that are drag targets for windows. So that sounds very similar to uh, what the snap layouts feature currently in Windows 11 is all about. And before we launch the uh, layout editor, we can see that there are a whole lot of different options that you have and a lot more than what you will find over in Windows 11 at the moment. You know, you can even do the zone opacity, you can change the colors, exclude apps and so on. But if you go download Power Toys over at GitHub, you can go check this out for yourself and all those different options. Now, if we launch the layout editor, this takes us to your different templates of your grid layouts and you get no layout, focus, columns, rows, grid, a priority grid. And this, you know, is very similar to the new snap layouts feature in Windows 11. And you can also edit those default templates if you like. You can add a zones, a spaces around the zones, highlight distances and so on. And you can also create a new layout. You know, once you've created a custom layout and I have uh, created one already, you can edit that layout. You know, you can drag your windows around your different grids. You can make them smaller, larger. You know, you can drag them open, close, you know, just to resize the uh, different layout and so on. And then you just click save and apply. So at the moment, this is very similar to what looks like the developers have borrowed from Power Toys for Windows 10 and popped into Windows 11 as a new feature. Now, it's not clear at the moment what the future of Power Toys is going to be uh, regarding Windows 10 or if this is going to, you know, all the toys are eventually just going to add up in the Windows 11 operating system. And it's also not clear if a new version of Power Toys will eventually be made available for Windows 11. So if you don't use Power Toys, just go check it out. Go over to GitHub and you can try it out there for yourself. But the snap layouts is more or less a feature that has been made available over in Power Toys for Windows 10 for quite some time now. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.